As hard as you work to earn your money, I want to make sure that you're getting the best bang for your buck that you can get when it comes to portable jump boxes. So today, we're going to be reviewing the 2500 amp Fox Speed car jump starter to see if it is worth your money. Fellow YouTubians, that sounded a lot less corny in my head, but what's going on? Uh, welcome back to the channel for those of you uh, returning and for those of you that have no earthly clue who I am or why I'm standing in front of this mountain of a toolbox. My name's Mason and I am a senior master tech with Ford. Uh, so you can guess what I do here with the channel. We're doing anything automotive and thanks to Ford Motor Company, we never run out of material to work on. So I made a video here a while back um, on NoCo Jump Box, which has been my daily jump box for the past couple of years that I've used. And I guess it's done pretty well. The video's done pretty well. I think um, you know most of you liked it. Some people might not have. Some people might have thought that uh, some of the other jump boxes might have been better. But I had a company reach out to me called Foxpeed and asked me if I wanted to review their jump box. So you know me being me, um, of course, I couldn't turn down free stuff, and I like getting unboxing and playing with new toys just like all you at home do. So, I got this Jumpstart box in, and I really wasn't expecting much out of it, but um, it's actually turned out to be a really good jump box. So, I went and looked, and there are some other videos reviewing this jump box, but most of those are showing you how to operate and use the jump box. And I don't think many of you came here to learn how to operate one. I think you may have already used one or you know what it is or how to use it, you just wanna know which one to buy. So today we're gonna to be talking pros and cons of what I've seen this jump box for using it a couple weeks, I'm not doing unboxing because, you know, who wants to see me open boxes? If that's something that y'all do wanna see, then let me know down in the comments. So before we get into these pros and cons, I wanna let you guys know there is a link in the description where you can go to Amazon or Fox P's website and find this jump box. It is $79.99 on Amazon. Make sure you use my link, really helps me out. But uh, get right into some of the pros on it. The number one thing that I like about this jump box is the LCD screen. Most jump boxes in this price range and size do not have an LCD screen that does one or most of the time neither of these two things. Uh, it does not show you the battery life of the jump box. Some of them will have bar graphs, whatever. I like the number. I like to know precisely how much is in the jump box. This thing has a really, I ain't gonna say big, but it does have a really, you know, sizable screen to the point where you can see what the numbers are and you know how much percentage is left in your jump box. The second one, which is a huge thing for me, and nobody really does this uh, until you get up into the bigger jump boxes, but I like to know I like to be able to plug this thing up to a battery and know how much voltage is in the battery. And these jumper leads that come with it actually have their own LCD screen built into them that shows you exactly how much voltage is in the battery when you plug up and how much voltage you're putting to the battery whenever you go to start the car. So that's hands down my two favorite things with this jump box. Um, there's a lot of pros that I could mention here, but I'm just gonna try to hit the highlights know what what really matters so this jump box is very capable it's very capable it can jump off jump off up to an 8 liter gasoline engine or a 6.5 liter diesel engine uh, sometimes you can step up even a little more than that you know it's just not gonna last as long longevity wise uh, with this size jump box you know if you're really jumping off 18 wheelers you might should get a jump box that is designed to jump 18 wheelers off. So this thing's got a pretty decent battery life on it. Um, Fox Speed says that it will jump a car off 20 times before it needs to be recharged. I don't know if I believe that. Um, you know, if it can get 10 times out of it for me, that that is great because if I've jumped 10 vehicles off of this thing and have been so lazy to the point where I have not been able to plug it up and charge it, then something's going on. Uh, that's definitely my fault. 
but I do like the fact that they say you can get 20 out of it. I don't know if that's the case. I haven't jumped off 20 cards with it in a row to know, but that's a huge plus with this thing. All the newer jump boxes that you're gonna be buying nowadays pretty much have this, but I figured I'd mention it just because it is a really important thing. So this thing actually has smart protection. Uh, it does reverse polarity protection. Uh, so if you hook the jump rope wires up backwards, onto the battery of your car. You know, you could fry your ECU. You could uh, pop every fuse in the car. You could do some bad stuff by doing that. So this thing is supposed to protect against that. If you hook it up backwards, it's supposed to sense that. And it, it breaks open inside where it does not put the voltage backwards into your car because that would not be good. So that's a really good thing. Although it is on most newer jump start boxes you're gonna be buying uh, today. Most of them come standard with that. So my second favorite thing, um, it was pushing for a tie with the first. I just really love those LCD screens, but this one as it isn't even actually the jump box. Uh, it's this little adapter that they sent that I really, really like. Uh, you plug it in, it's got a DC 12 volt plug here. And on this side, we have our standard cigarette lighter 12 volt outlet that we find in vehicles because a lot of stuff that you would want to charge, like your phone, your tablet, all that stuff, you can charge it off of this jump box. And this makes it a lot easier when you don't just have the USB-C cord to plug up. Um, you don't have to worry about getting all the adapters. If you have an old style car charger, this will charge your phone, tablet, computer, whatever you have, this will charge it. And most jump boxes that I've seen do not come with this. They do not send this with their jump box. So this is a really big deal for me. I really like that they sent this. Um, you know, it's a great feature about it. So getting into some of the things that I didn't like about this jump box, uh, it has the flashlight on here. Uh, you have to hold it to turn it on. Um, it's, it's really bright. It works well, but something that, and this may just be me, this may not be everybody else. I hate flashlights that have more than one mode. I want wide open bright, one click on, one click off. That's what I like. I don't want SOS light. I don't want dim, medium, bright, extra bright. I don't want all that crap. I just want to be able to hit the button and the flashlight come on. So I'm not crazy about that, but I'm not going to down Fox P for that because it seems like every single one of these jump boxes have multiple modes. I think they just think that, you know, more equal better, but in my opinion, it does not. I just want to be able to turn the thing on and off and not have to click it 47 times after I turn it on to turn it back off. So that's a big thing with me, but may not be with you guys watching this. The second thing that I really didn't like about this jump box is these cables. So I, I really love the LCD screen here. But these cables, if you notice, you can even see it in the pictures on their website. Uh, they're, they're longer, than one's longer than the other. And I don't understand why, you know, you, you could make an argument, maybe it's for like the, making it easier to get the battery plus, but I don't see how that's the case. Uh, I don't feel like they're long enough and I don't feel like they should be different lengths. I, I really like uniform. I feel like it would look a lot better if they were uniform and would make a lot more sense for like these new ones that you can't get directly on the battery post that you have to spread them out a considerable distance. So I didn't like that. And the third and final thing that kind of really gripe me about this jump box is when I got it, I didn't really know a lot about it. I know some of them, my NOCO is a little different with like how you have to hold the button if the battery's completely dead to get it to power up, to turn on where it will jump start the car. Uh, so I went through the entire user manual, operator manual to check this thing out because I wanted to learn everything I could about it to tell you guys. And going through it, what I figured out was that there isn't a lot of useful information in the user's manual. Um, I kind of just had to play with it and kind of figure out how, I, how it worked and whatnot because of the smart protection stuff. It can kind of get a little tricky whenever it's like boneyard dead, like the battery has two volts in it. Uh, so I didn't like that. I don't like that they don't tell you exactly how it works and tell you how you should operate it in certain scenarios because there's different scenarios, you know, if you just need a little bit of a jump versus needing, you know, if you didn't even have a battery in it, <clears throat> like you see in the video earlier when I just unhooked the battery complete from the car and used the jump start box as the battery. So there's different scenarios and I kind of wish they would have worded it a little different and put a little more information in that user's manual. So um, that's really all the cons I've seen with this thing though. So overall, this jump box, would I buy, would I spend your hard-earned money on it? Well, of course I would spend your money because it's not my money and I didn't have to do anything for it. But overall, I would definitely say this is a solid buy jump box. Uh, it would get you by in 
almost every scenario I can think of, even in the commercial world where I'm at, where I'm constantly using it every day. I don't know about the longevity because I haven't had it but a couple weeks, but I definitely think this is a solid buy. So for those of you still here with me watching, uh, I'd really love to hear from some of you guys on what you'd like to see me review, whether that be scanners, more jump boxes, common tools I use, uh, my toolbox in general, just anything automotive related you'd like to see me review or talk about. Uh, go down there in the comments and leave me a comment telling me what you'd like to see. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, if you like the video, go down there and hit that like button. It really helps me out when I see you guys liking those videos. And if you haven't already subscribed, I already told you, but you need to go subscribe to the channel. You don't want to miss out on any of this content. So that's it for this one. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.